Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, John Carhill from Eptide Tackle, uh, back for a quick vid. What I want to talk to you about today is basically what's in my tackle bag for my latest trip to Oman. Um, heading back over to fish the reef raiders trip at No Boundaries, April, Monster Month. So excited, it's my fifth visit over there. My gear has changed a lot over the years visiting there it's evolved I wish I had done this back at the start and compare to now to be honest the little choices and some of the gear choices I made on my first trip were good some were terrible I think I've got it well never perfect but pretty close to right these days so I thought it's just a really good opportunity to just show you what am I taking I've written blogs on this stuff before we've got one on the Tide blog I'll put the link up it's been viewed thousands and thousands and thousands of time, times, but we still keep getting asked this question by friends and customers of Ebtide of what should I take? So I'm just gonna show you the basics of what I'm taking in April 2018 to go and tackle the biggest, baddest GTs on the planet. Um, so let's keep this real simple and quick. ASWB Indian Pacific GT Tamers are coming back for their Second journey, um, one of each, the P6-8 and the P10. Yes, I did say P6-8, but I run P10 over it. It's my stick bait rod. It's got a nice, beautiful, soft action through the tip. It works floating sticks like a dream. Really good, it's got plenty of guts. I've landed GTs to just a probably a smidge under 50 kilos on that rod, running P10 over it. The genuine P10 rod, no limits. Go as hard as you like. Reels, um, since day one, I've been using Stella. Um, this is a 2008 salt water version, um, 18,000 stock spool. You may handle. Um, the only thing that's changing with this reel this season is it's going to be running YGK Castman WX8. I've used it before, I used it years ago. I'm going back to it. I had a lot of line issues last year. On my stick boat rod, I run a 2013 Stella um, 14,000 SWB. Um, I like the slightly smaller dimensions and slightly lighter weight of the 14,000 model over the 18 for stick baiting. It's a small thing, it's a personal thing. Uh, 16,000 SOM on there. Again, that's getting fresh line. Love both my, my main GT reels. That's my rods, that's my reels. Let's move on pretty, pretty quickly to um, my floating sticks. Uh, my floating sticks uh, to be honest, they're 150 grams and up, or you know, in that ballpark. Um, so, Old Faithful coming again and again is Strategic Angler Walker. Uh, of course, some of my biggest GTs in Southern Oman on this lure, and I've seen them caught up to 60 kilos on this lure. Rigged big trebles on it like 70 GT recorders. Yeah, it changes the action considerably from what Merv des uh, designed originally, but it's when it's worked actually pretty fast, it really performs in a nice slashing motion right on the surface where you want it. Big GTs like it. Amagari Kaksu 240, or even the bigger models, but I've settled on the, the Kaksu for me. This one's well beaten up. Caught that big land based fish last year. I'll put the link up for that fish so you can have a look at it if you haven't seen it. This thing slays. Slightly bigger Hamagari here, a Mehe 255, 175 grams. Again, caught some good fish on this on the last trip. Robust. Now, I'm, I'm not taking this lure with me. It's a, it's a Blaze Burn 120. I'm going. Yeah, the 120 is a little bit small for what I want, but just to show you, it's coming, but in a bigger size. It's Uloa, Hiru Uloa 150. Just, it's just one of those lures that's got to be there. Last year, um, I caught a mega permit on this very lure. I'll chuck up a picture of that fish right now. Crazy, but permit aren't the target. GT's love them. Okay, moving on to sinking sticks. Pretty simple selection of four lures coming over with me. I'll probably take a couple of multiples. ASWB SS185, big profile. 
These are all simple lures to use, hey. Orion GTX 170 is coming. Orion Plug Tropic, uh, it's a 180 that I've got here. This was a little secret weapon last year, I tell you. This thing killed it in the rough water. Of course, no trip on GTs anywhere on the planet would be complete with an, at an Orion Bigfoot 180 in fuzzy color. Sinking stick baits, I'll probably take a couple of uh, these different models, but that's basically it. One lure missing from my floating sticks is Jackfin Argo 240F. Over onto the poppers, big poppers, big displacement, big swimming action, that's what I'm, what I'm all about over there. So I'm taking a Blaze Kimitsu 150. I know that's gonna slay. Reaction WA Lure, Western Australian Lure, Reaction Catalyst 160. Um, first time I'm taking one of these to Oman. I love what they do though. Hero Kibera 150, you don't go anywhere without one of those. This is the first time for me, new lure into the stable, um, this particular model coming in my bag. Blaze Sathatha, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's S-A-T-H-T-H-A, Sathatha. I'm taking a big dog 180. This thing is going to be my go-to for first thing in the morning, I'm fresh. I need to pop and get some energy out of me. This is gonna be the one. Uh, these move some silly water. A couple of Jackfin Kronos 220s. These actually are from the early days when we're helping the Jackfin guys with prototyping. Another star of the show over there, an Amagari Dezanga 230 swimming popper. These move a ridiculous amount of water for that small cup and they swim so sexy. And you don't go on a GT trip anyway without a Fisherman Long Pen 170. Get that big bad reaction by. There's another lure that's missing here, it sits somewhere between the poppers and the skipping pencils, and that is I'll be taking a couple of Heru Skipjack 150s. Unless something happens between now and then, that's my lure bag. Lures are designed around carrying big bad hooks, Kedarko, Shout Kedarko 9Os, um, the new Gignesis trebles, haven't got them here with me, they're over in the warehouse, they're coming, can't wait to try them. Um, Gamakatsu GT Recorder, 7Os, the biggest hooks, the baddest GTs, bring it on. Woo! Cannot wait. No Boundaries, Oman, Reef Raiders, 2018 doesn't get any better.